not there before. Okay. And then the down B3 is... Um, Frozen Frank. Oh, gravitational yeah. charge, yeah. Wow. Okay. So it pulls people enough. in. Oh! Oh, he's going, he's going with the Ganon punch. Uh, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't agree with that one. Uh, especially not in this matchup. I think the Ganon uh, against Seagull oh, in general. This is actually all default Sonic, so oh, okay. we were we were confused. All right, so I, I was like, against Seagull, I think I would probably use uh, not the regular one, but the one that like explodes and kills. Because uh, Seagull's going to be in his shield like a lot near the edge because yeah. he's waiting for you to hit it. You know? or, so if you catch him like that, like just, you know, command grab him and get the kill. Or the other thing Seagull might be doing near the edge is just like charging spin dash. So maybe he's just like hoping he can catch him doing that. But yeah. As you see right there, anytime Sonics are near the edge, they're just like, let me charge the spin dash and watch you hit a button so I can just let it work. All right, well, at least it does decent damage. It's 36 to 50. That was a uh, 14, so that's pretty good. And that he just shields it. <laughs> that's so, like, it's even like, I understand why uh, like, Ganon use that, but like, it's, oh. oh my god, you suck, Joe. Uh, that's the anti tech right there. Uh, that's the anti tech right there. Like, you thought I was in a bad positioning, and now you out here dead. Only did 10 damage that time. I guess not. Didn't get every hit. Yeah. And Seagull's just gonna go ahead. And that's that, that sort of panic mode for Sonic. If you're getting Sonic to the point where he's forced to spring in the air, that's when you know you're actually in a good position. But you gotta start punishing that landing. And back throw, not gonna kill. Good vectoring. Yeah, that was that was the most obvious recovery in the book. And Seagull's just like, yeah, I'll take this. I mean, yeah, he's kind of taken out the. Uh, since Bandit was using this, he's taken out a cheese factor basically. Like he, like none of that uh, side B to grab to finish the game right now on two stocks is gonna work. So like now Seagull can just block, but I don't think he's gonna do that. So yeah, for sure. And back throw again, not gonna kill. Ganon just super heavy, so fat. Oh, okay. okay. He knew it was coming, but he just mistimed it. And this time he waits, goes for an F throw kill. Yeah, not enough to finish yet though. Landed on stage like that. That kick, that kick angle looks so stupid. Like they could have reanimated that one. Like uh, nah, we're lazy. Seagull Joe about to kill himself again. Yeah, and with some terrible DI here. And Manendorf doesn't get the kill. Doesn't go for anything crazy. But the Yo. Sparta kick with Rage? Seagull Joe was about to lose this game. He might even get two stock. That up smash was looking mighty scary. Oh, and the up air Finally off the top. closing out that stock, though. And Seagull, calm as ever, knows that he's in Rage. He can always bring this back. And here comes the... He's going to try and punish the landing. Misses it. Oh, last hit of the side B. Oh, very, very good option right there. I like what he was going for, but uh, he kind of uh, pulled the trick a little bit too early right there. He was waiting for him to, s to spot dodge, and he just rolled away. That was really good by Manador. And this, what manador has been trying to do, it looks like he's using down tilt to beat out spin dash, and it's been working for the most part. This might kill, not quite. Just just give putting on more damage. Yeah, I bet so. the Seagull doesn't even know about that. The old, that's the Ganon trick right there. Like, you use up smash, and it looks like it's uh, punishable. It is not. Oh my god, I thought, he, I thought he was ready to die to Dark Dive. Oh, he's got a side B now. He's held it too long. And he goes in. Back throw? Not going to kill. Yeah, nothing major. He just want to put him off the stage right there, but he still managed to get back. That, that, that looks like that's really good for recovery as well, though. And that oh! up air has done it. Manondorf pops off, but that's only game one. He's excited. <laughs> Joe's like, nah, <laughs> I got this. You're still gonna hold it against him that he lost the game to a Ganon, aren't yeah. you? <laughs> yeah. 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 These are all, all these like very, very high, high, like, like high tier, like top five are losing to him, and I'm like, wow, well, how? What are y'all doing? It's the Ganon, man. This it's the Ganon, man. It's the New Age Bloody Knight. Remember when Bloody Knight beat Logic's Meta Knight? Good times. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. Dang. Shots. He didn't even hear it though. He didn't hear to, it. I, I'm trying to see him, uh, man, Blood Knight play to be quite honest. That'd be kind of dope. That would be pretty good. Cool. But either way, man, we got the game two. Uh, Single Joe, after a very unfortunate loss in game one, he did lose a stock mat early to himself. That's uh, true. But I, he didn't really like. I won't say he brought it all the way back, but he, he, you know, he closed the gap from where it was. So and right now, now it looks like he's uh, got a dominating. Uh, yeah, he's kind of all over what Manendorf is doing. At that time he rolls. I don't even think he meant to roll, but yeah. He's just so on top of how Manondorf is moving, and he's going to drop the spring, land for free. No punish from Manondorf, and these down throws from Seagull are really getting him. All right, just kind of going in and out right there. No, I don't think Ganondorf really has an answer to uh, when Sonic's trying to turn around behind him, so he just has to hold that shield, deal with it. And wow, the, the speed of Sonic allows him to punish from all the way across the stage every time Manondorf misses a side B. Yeah, he's getting a little wild right here with these uh, side Bs, to be honest. Good power shield. Doesn't get the F smash punish. <laughs> Dash attacks twice, and Seagull just rolls around him. 
Yeah, now, now Seagull's trying to challenge that. I don't, I'm not uh, completely sure you will be able to. I feel like that hitbox is so far ahead of Ganon's like, actual hurtbox. He might as well just go ahead and... Oh, uh, nice smash, though. Might great as well read. go ahead and try to punish that at the end instead of the beginning. Yeah, honestly, I don't think there's, you know, any quick amount of end lag or anything to the side, but Seagull, I mean, Seagull's playing Sonic. He's the punish character because he's so fast. Yeah. So you can just let him do that and run from the other side of the stage. Oh, okay. He was looking like Pikachu for a second with those forward airs. Yeah, once again, still trying to punish it as it's coming in. <laughs> he's, like, punishing it too fast. He's, like, not aware of how slow and bad a move it is because he yeah. keeps getting hit. So he's like, I need to challenge this. He's like, no, you literally can just wait and watch it happen, and then you can punish it. Back throw. Oh, almost got the spring right there. Would have been a good option. Oh, no. First jab, though. And nice up air. And Seagull's looking much more dominant this game than he did in game one. I'm surprised he didn't go for the spring. He went for that fair, expecting an early dark dive. Oh my. I don't know what, what Seagull's looking for with these s matches right now, because I think even if he was uh, going to come in with down, a down air, or a down B, he would have probably still uh, got hit. So, oh, nice down smash, though. Seagull holding on only 72% on his first stock. Looking uh, much better than the first game. Oh, oh my god! That F tilt just Good barely punch. missed or what? I, it looked like it hit him. But the F-Smash goes through, and Seagull Joe, a two-stock in game two. Very good punish The right download here. is done. Yeah, he definitely, uh, he, uh, that's the that's the, that's the the Ganon special, the up to, uh, the up smash to F-Tilt. Yeah. And he kind of just outspaced it with that F-Smash. So good stuff right there for Seagull. Manadorf, uh, not looking as happy as he did at the first game. Well, now he's switching custom, it looks like. it looks like. And uh, I want to quote something Pink Fresh used to say, is Seagull Joe is the worst player on the first stock. And I think we just saw here Seagull Joe was the worst player in the first game because he takes a little bit to, to stop doing stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. That's sort of like the Seagull Joe special. Yeah, I mean, he adjusts. Uh, it just takes him a little time, yeah. Yeah. But he, he might have the download. Let's see what, what happens. The customs are changed now for Ganon. No, this looks the same. Yeah. Did he stay? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I still I still think he, he would have been better off using the uh, actual grab um, with the side B. But you know what, man? I'm over here and you're over there. So... <laughs> You didn't enter today, so you can't even say that. Yeah, I can't even say that. So I mean, like, I would only—I didn't enter because I was trying. I want to do Rosalina, uh, like next time I play a custom tournament. But I didn't practice, so I was like, whatever. Oh I'm not about to come out here and get like 24 or uh, fifth or anything like that. <laughs> anyway, Seal Joe is just putting on this damage. Finally, uh, Manandorf able to come in with two side Bs. Hey, yeah, Seal Joe uh, still hasn't figured out a way. Uh, to deal with that, that, pretty much. Honestly, yeah. Manandorf could just like do that across the stage, like as many times as he wants, and yeah. Seagull would probably get it. Yeah, Seagull's. I mean, Seagull's like punishing it if he gets behind it, but I mean, if it's in front of him, he's not doing the the right punish at all. There it is. Look at that. Why, why nice. did you stop? Why did you stop blocking? <laughs> Again, every time, and he's been doing the same thing too. The down B just barely off stage, and then double jump side B back, and Seagull though has just. Tried to punish it every time, and every time it screwed Ooh. up. Nice. Gets him with the end of game two kill. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's basic right now. It's looking so good on those F-Smashes. So, so Mandorf can still make it happen. Nice back air. Big damage off that back air. I think one more of those would definitely seal this stock. Although, that was like literally the first time I've seen him use an aerial A move that wasn't neutral air. <gasps> he punished it. He punished the side B. I'm, clap I'm, it up. Clap it up. Clap it up for Seagull. <laughs> he shielded go. it, waited for it to end, and then grabbed him. Oh, and no. uh, Mandorf? Uh, Oh, wow. He just punches right on through that spring. And the this Sparta kick coming through. Last stock, game three. Seagull, really, Seagull leans in. I'm not really sure what that down B about was uh, off the stage anyway, but yeah. Definitely last stock uh, situation right here for both of them. However, Seagull has not taken a single hit yet. Oh, One of them made a ferocious error, and the other one was so ready to punish it, he wasn't <laughs> even in position. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Punch him out of it. New tech. Maybe that's the tech he was talking about. Well, Can he's been doing that. Overall. He's been doing that down tilt, like just in the middle of neutral, like hoping he gets run into. Yeah, but that's the thing about Sonic, man. He can hold that for quite a bit of time. So exactly. It's like, even if you think you have the read, I mean, he can just wait until you actually throw out a hit. And he like, can right, he can shield that. while he's charging if he yeah. if he hasn't fully charged it. Okay. All right. Just barely uh, getting that. Get the distance that he need, but also avoided the F smash right there. He's using, he's, he's using the custom up B that uh, has super arm on it. Problem is though, he's never getting the chance to use it because Joe all. will not run off stage uh, to power like to edge guard him. 
And nor does he really stand in his face. It's a hit and run type character, so like, not gonna be, uh, he's not going to be on your that shield. That could a be lot. game. No, cool. not quite. But I was about to point out Seagull has been doing nothing but like rolling behind. He'll run up and then just roll behind, and it's been getting him like all of his damage for like this entire stock. See, that's why he just rolled three times there. All right, oh. Seagull Joe once again stopping the block too early. Oh, oh no. Imagine if that hit. Uh oh. Oh, if he went for Uppy. I mean, he's I still think, in it. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna raw be this. Like, if he gets another, a like that right, there, right there, that was that the was chance. It. And me, me and Denver, same thinking, same thing over here. Poyo was freaking out too. And all of a sudden, Seagull not approaching like he was before. He's worried he could die at any moment. I mean, no roll behinds die. or anything. This is, this is full rage, Ganon, right now. And yeah, he stopped rolling behind. That's where all his damage was coming from. Oh no, he's off stage. Is Manador actually about to take out Seagull? No, no the back it. throw. <laughs> Mistimed the up smash. Regular getup, of course, so hard to punish. And Seagull Joe, I guess he lost the game to Ganon, so that's, yeah, still, he lost that's the game. still pretty bad. <laughs> he, almost lost, he almost lost the set, man. That was, whoo. He did that turn around in his shield, dude. If, if, if. Wait, we play. I thought you were trying to comment. Oh, okay. Dude, <laughs> uh, so me and Coney have to play. Uh, you need a commentator. You want to do what? What? Yeah, but uh, either way, man, like if if uh, Single Joe would have... Yeah, it's fine. Uh, what's up, people? Um, how are you here? I'm actually going to...